Hello guys and welcome to the platform once again and um, in this episode um, it's the review of um, Chelsea 3 um, Leeds United 2 it was an entertaining um, afternoon of um, football at the Stamford Bridge and um, already so many uh, Chelsea fans are still not happy that's why Chelsea winning and um, Eight goals conceded in three games, um, still minus in Golo Kante. And um, this, I think, is the 54th um, game under Thomas Tuchel. And um, of all the um, games that Chelsea conceded, uh, more than one goal in a game, Golo Kante didn't play. And so that explains the reason why some of us are calling for Golo Kante's um, backup right now. Golo Kante can't be replaced, remember. But you need to get someone who can do the work like Golo Kante when Kante is not playing that's when he's injured and Ongolo Kante should be rested for important matches like the final against Man City last season in which Kai Havertz got the trophy for Chelsea those are the kinds of matches that Ongolo Kante should be specialized for and we need to get someone who can do the work and there's a boy Tuameni in France who we are so calling so many times but still Chelsea has not gone in for Tuameni he's very cheap he's not like Declan Rice who you want to pay 100 million pounds sterling so the faster we are the better before liverpool and city maybe may pounce on and get him yeah so that's then but um let's come back please uh before we start the um show if you haven't subscribed to the channel do well to hit the subscribe button touch the notification bell share the program to as many viewers as possible smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation and then comment to agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below and um the reason why you need to um smash um the uh, notification bell is whenever i upload a program or an episode you are going to be notified accordingly and um as you agree with me it was a difficult match for chelsea and um, difficult to be happy as a chelsea fan and uh, now in recent games and um still um chelsea won with a lot of concerns um our inability to control games minus in golo kante is still baffling and um, no wonder the coach has highlighted the importance of Ngolo Kante. And um, we have some important loan players, Conor Gallagher, uh, Billy Gilmore, who are doing well. And I don't know, still, the Chelsea made a mistake in bringing in Saul and then sanctioning those players out on loan. And um, we, in December now, are struggling to even field a midfield players, in which now we have Kovacic out, uh, Jorginho is playing with back pain. That shows how useless Saul is. Excuse me, it's too harsh. Forgive me. If um, a, a player with a back pain can play ahead of Saul, that shows Saul is not important. Now, I don't know why Chelsea paid £4 million uh, pounds sterling for Saul's loan. They should have well shared it to Chelsea fans or supporters or members. Yeah, it's, it's harsh. But I have to say it, that um, that money, and even there's a talk that Saul will be sent back to Atletico Madrid. £4 million pounds gone down the drain. And that is why we are cautioning them about Rudiger. If they allow Rudiger to go bringing in new players, we're going to waste money because those players are not guaranteed to perform like Rudiger. So, and Rudiger performed in this game, despite the fact that Chelsea were poor, Rudiger was the shining light, the brightest light on the field. He won two penalties for us. And that shows the importance of Rudiger. And so, um, if you are talking about the salary ceiling, that I think for now is nonsense because Rudiger deserves... Uh, more than some of the players what they are doing up front because he's more than a defender yeah and so marina should look at that issue once again and um december has been a case for chelsea for the past three four seasons now with december we have found one thing so far we've drawn some matches and um lost to west ham and let's hope that the only loss to west ham will remain that way and we will get the maximum points in the other four game, games before the end of the season uh, plus one additional carabao cup game that was why i was advocating that um, chelsea if even they had uh, were out of the carabao cup it would be easier but it's a game that kepa will come in so um that's a game for the other players there but some of the fringe players have not performed as at now and the likes of Malang Sa and even Alonso now, the form is very bad. Alonso um, lost a penalty to Leeds United. And Alonso, I like Alonso a lot, but now Alonso is not doing well. I think it's time to replace Alonso yeah, in the team. And so, so many concerns there coming in um, as a Chelsea fan, especially those of us who are members, double up as members and fans. So that is the kind of pain 
we are made to go through watching Chelsea um, in every game. And Thursday against um, Everton, let's hope the performance will be better. Chaloba may possibly come back, um, but I don't know his fitness level or whether he may start. And, but, and uh, Chaloba and um, Kovacic may be on the bench for the game, or even maybe Chaloba could start because Chaloba's injury is not that serious. And um, the issue of December really comes to address the kind of recruitment policies and decisions that we take during the summer. Yeah, even in December now, most of the players have even exhausted and uh, most of them are injured. Yeah, and let me come back to the game, the main uh, reason why we are here. Chelsea played well in the first um, 30 to um, 35 minutes before. Yeah, in the first um, few minutes before Leeds got the penalty on the 20th, the first 25 minutes, Leeds got the penalty in the 28th, uh, 7th minutes and 28th minutes, they converted it uh, and they got the first goal before Chelsea raised the tempo a little bit. Mercy Mount got the equaliser um, for Chelsea level prior to the break. And then Chelsea took the lead in the second half um, through Rudiger's penalty. And Jorginho um, was made no mistake there on the spot and he converted for um, the 2-1 Chelsea. And once again, the problem of Chelsea this season is that after scoring and taking a narrow lead, they tend to stop playing. And we stopped playing once again. Leeds United came back into the game once again to equalise. Um, made, made it 2-2 before um, Jorginho killed the game in injury time um, to make it 3-2 um, Chelsea. So that is the issue that we are facing. Let me look at um, some ratings for the team. Edward Mendy, 6.5. Um, I think his saving of penalties, he has to improve, though I don't think I can fault him for most of the performances there. The second goal for Leeds United, the defenders should have been alert more, should have been more alert than they did. Aspil Equator, 6.5 there. Silva, 7. Rudiger, 9. Rudiger is the man of the match, so 9 over 10 there. James, 7. Loftus Cheek, 7. Jorginho, 7.5. Alonso, 6. Mount, 7.5. Harvest, 7. Timo Werner, 6. Timo Werner had a quiet game. Though I can't say he didn't do well. It was, he did some runs there, so I will forgive him there because he scored two, game, two goals in, mid, in midweek. Yeah, so let me, let's look at a little bit of the statistics of the game. Chelsea had 58% despite being sloppy in midfield. Our midfield is not in commanding shape. That's why we tend to lose most important balls at crucial point of the game. Yeah, 58% of Chelsea, 42 for Leeds United. The Swiss Chelsea uh, string, strung 415 passes. Least 304 pass accuracy 83 percent as against that of least 73 percent. Yeah, and so um, shots Chelsea had 16 shots, six on target, least had 12 shots, um, five on target, quite close there. And then corner is 5 2 in favor of Chelsea. So, uh, normally, um, mostly this is the issue out there. Chelsea still not playing well. So, we hope uh, on Thursday against um, Everton. Chelsea will improve better than what they are doing. Other than that, issues are coming up with respect to how we negotiate December. And there are so many concerns as at now. Uh, and N'Golo Kante, the coach said, will return to training on Tuesday. We don't know how his fitness is. And I don't know. And I'm one of the guys who don't think N'Golo Kante should be rash. He has to properly uh, heal. And though he may come to training, but we have to allow him to properly get healed so that he will give us the best of performances as we head into January. You know, in January, Chelsea will be playing Liverpool on 2nd January. Excuse me, an important title decider there. So we need N'Golo Kante in that game. Other than that, it's going to be difficult. Salah and Mani will do the do there. We are praying it wouldn't happen. N'Golo Kante will come back. Yeah, before I run out of the studio, if it happens to be your first time, of engaging with me through this platform on this ep special episode please do well to hit the subscribe button touch the notification bell very important tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel smash the like button comment to agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below and then share the program to as many viewers as possible yeah this way i draw the curtains now on today's episode of um, the review with close of date scoreline um chelsea 3 Leeds united to least United, dirty old rivals of Chelsea were beaten again, though we had to struggle. But um, I was expecting Chelsea to smash them by more goals. But um, thank God we still won the game. So cheers. I love you wherever you are. Bye-bye.